What's up everybody, Jeremy Weiss here with Weiss Tech Hockey and in this video I want to show you a great progression that I use to develop power turns. Now whenever you're talking about skills, you got to remember that it's, it goes in a sequence. So first you need to show your players how to do the skill properly, how to do it correctly. And uh, you know, lay out a few expectations of what do you expect to see from them. Usually I like to break this down into three steps. So you know, give them three main key points that you want them to focus on as they're working on the skill. Then you've got the, uh, the actual uh, development, the working on the skill itself. So this is where, for example, this, this is where this drill comes in. We're gonna work on power turns for the sake of working on power turns. So really we're not worried about too much game situation, at least not at the beginning. We can progress this into more of a game-like situation as we go, but uh, you know, we're not worried about too many different things. We really wanna nail down the skill itself. So that's where we're going to use this drill. This is a power turn progression that's going to show you or walk you through the different aspects, different steps of working through the power turn. Then after that, you know, once the players are looking comfortable doing it, you know, with no pressure, uh, you know, then we can put them in a game situation or, or you know, more elaborate drills where they're having to do multiple skills at the same time. Some of which will include whatever, whatever skill you're working on. So in this case, some of which will include power turns. So um, let's go ahead. We'll pull up the rink. I don't want to spend too much time introducing this, uh, but this is what the the setup that we have, and it looks a little bit complicated. It's not nearly as complicated as what it looks like. This is the setup that I use if we've got a full ice practice and we've got a lot of players on the ice at the same time. So we can. It's a really efficient way of doing it, um, and it makes it so you can have four different lines going um, and they alternate back and forth so it keeps keeps the players moving through quickly. Uh, you can do this or you can do whatever your variation of this would be uh, or you know reconfigure it if you're working half ice or if you're working on stations you can still do this drill you'll just have to reconfigure a little bit but assuming we've got a full ice practice and we've got a lot of kids on the ice at the same time and you want them all doing this drill together then here's the setup you'll look like. So we'll have four stations. As you can see, we've got a lineup at each set of four cones. Okay, so each each station has four cones, and then we've got the the lines staggered. Okay, so we've got a line facing this way, a line facing this way, and then again back to the opposite side and back to the opposite side. We're going to progress through this. We're going to start without pucks, uh, and then we'll go and eventually add pucks. So that's where I've got you know the the first two lines. I'm going to show you what I want you doing without pucks. And then um, you know we've got these guys that have pucks. But as you're doing this in your regular practice, then you're going to have um, you know you'll you'll add the pucks all together all at once. Um, we're usually, if you've only got one coach, which I hope you've got more than one coach, but if you've got one coach, you can still make this work. Uh, the coach will go somewhere in the middle, and doing it this way, he'll be able to watch um, all the players that are going all at once. And I'll show you how that works in a second. Um, but ideally, you'll have the head coach kind of overseeing everything, and then you'll have an assistant coach standing at the end of each set of cones. Okay, so that's basically what we will look at look like there. So you know, if you've got five coaches, great. If not, then um, you know, stagger the coaches how you will, and let the coaches be working with the players and correcting things as we go. So let me show you. Now we've got the setup. Let me show you what we want as far as this drill goes. What we're going to do is on the whistle. Um, the first player out of each of these two lines. So the two lines that are on the same side of the ice are gonna go at the same time. Now, whichever direction, whichever line you're in, whichever direction you're facing, it doesn't matter, you're gonna be facing the same way each time. So let's just assume uh, that to start, the players are all gonna be turning towards this side of the ice. Now if you've got boxes on one, or the benches on one end and the bleachers on the other end, that's how you'll designate it. So you'll say, hey, to start, we're all gonna power turn facing the benches. Um, so that's how you're going to do it. So no matter which line you're in, you're power turning towards the benches. That's going to help us to keep this clean as we go. Um, so the players are going to start slightly to the left of the cones because in this case they're turning to the right. And they're going to go out, full speed out. Let me get my, my arrow here. So they're going to go out. And we're going to say everybody's going to go to the third cone first. You're going to go out to the third cone, power turn around that cone. Okay. And then after a power turn, you gotta remember why are you using the power turn in the first place? Usually it's to get away from pressure, right? So if you're gonna do a power turn and then slowly make your way out of that power turn, then that's gonna, not gonna do you any good. So usually the power turn is gonna be to either change directions quickly, get away from pressure, or change directions quickly and you're on your way for a back check. Either way, you're gonna have to explode out of that power turn. So we wanna say, hit that power turn, explode out of it. Your first two strides coming out should be very explosive and then you're gonna come back to the end of the line. And that's it. Now the other side, remember, everybody's turning towards the same direction. So the other side's gonna go out to the third cone, 
hit that power turn, explode out of it, and then full speed back to the end of the line. Okay, so that's how the first iteration of this goes. Now, we've, we've laid down four cones for a number of reasons. Um, first of all, because as you're going through this, you're gonna go, I usually like to say, have everybody go through three or four times um, to the first side. Then after we've done that, then you're gonna change, and let me just get rid of some of these lines here. You're gonna change and have them power turn the other direction. So we'll say, everybody slide over a little bit so that you're coming at it from the other side now. So you're slightly to the right of the cones because now we're gonna be turning left, right? And um, now we're gonna say this time you're only gonna to go to the second cone. So that just saves the ice because as you're going through this, you've got a number of players going through over and over and over. It's gonna start getting pretty, pretty, uh, you know, a lot of, uh, a lot of choppy, you know, get the ice is gonna be getting choppy on you. So what we're gonna do is switch up the cones. That saves the ice a little bit. They're gonna come up and around the second cone. Same exact drill. Explode out of it right back to the end of the line. Okay, and again, we'll go through three or four times, and again, we'll, we'll draw both lines just so we can see. Doing it this way, if the players pay attention and actually go to the proper side that they're supposed to, they always stay out of each other's way. Okay, so then as a coach, you're gonna designate, so you're gonna point with your stick, these two lines go on the first whistle, and you can stagger the whistles too, like you can offset the whistles, and uh, you know everybody will stay out of, the same, out of the way of each other. So you go this side, then this side, then this side, then this side and you'll be able to go pretty quickly um, because the players aren't getting in each other's way. So that's the first phase of this. Now, as the players progress, obviously you're gonna want them to be able to do power turns with the puck as well. And that's where, um, you know, as you're doing this with the puck, you can start adding a shot in as well. And that, again, that's another important reason why we stagger the, the whistles so that the first, set of, first two lines go, then the second two lines go so that the goalie's not fielding two shots at the same time. So let's bump down here to the lines that we already have with the pucks. It's the same concept. We're gonna go, you know, start to whichever cone you want to designate. Now, as your as your players are progressing through this, you may or may not go. You know, you might if if they're really young, you might spend a lot more time without the pucks before you put the puck on their stick. Um, if they're older, then you might you know buzz through the uh, the first part of it without pucks, and then uh, you know quickly get the puck on their stick so they can be working on those skills as well. Um, being able to do this with a puck obviously is very important. So it's the same concept that we're gonna start no matter what, no matter which direction you're going, you're always gonna be facing the same boards. So let's just say we're starting facing the benches first and they're gonna come up, let's just say uh, we're gonna designate the fourth cone this time. So again, we just alternate through the cones just to save the ice. And they're gonna come up, full speed, power turn, keeping nice and tight. And then after that power turn, they're gonna explode out of it, go down, take a shot on net, right? And we wanna say, you know, we wanna shoot from the slot, no deeks, we wanna shoot with your feet moving. Shooting in strides, very important. So we designate that from our players. Same thing over here, they're gonna come out, power turn towards the benches. First two steps are gonna be very explosive, come out and take a shot on net from the slot. Okay, so that's pretty self-explanatory. And again, you're alternating the two sides. So then on the next whistle, these two guys will go, these two lines will go. Always again facing the same way, and then uh, after they've gone through three or four times each, then you can change the cone again. You can make it the first cone if you want to, um, or you can go back to the second or third cones, whichever you want to do there, and it works really well. Now, as your players progress through this, now we want to add a little bit more game like situation, and again, we can do this phase of it with or without pucks. Um, but what we want to end up doing, let me get rid of these shots as well is we wanna start them and progress it to the point where they're doing going through this with pucks. And we're gonna go inside edges through the cones, power turn around the last cone, and then explode back to the net. So it'll look like this. Inside edges through the cone, power turn around the last cone, explode out. Remember, again, we want that explosive two-step, uh, explosive stride coming out of the turn, drive wide around your net, or around your line, and then uh, cut to the net, take that shot. Now again, if we're doing this properly, if we've got this setup going properly, then the lines won't cross into each other, they won't overlap, and everybody will stay out of each other's way. So again, it'll go like this, starting to the right side first, inside edges through the cone with the puck, power turn, explode out of the turn, and drive wide, take the shot on net. Now where you'll run into the problems on this, as far as uh, you know, 
um, running the drill itself is if players get mixed up and start to the wrong side. Then you've got this guy power turning to this side, this guy power turning to this side, and they run into each other uh, along the way. So as long as everybody starts to the proper side, um, the drill runs very smoothly, and you can get through a lot of reps in not too much time, minimal standing around. It's a great drill to, again, work on the fundamental skills of your power turn. So that's a power turn progression that I like to use. Remember, it's a, it's a sequence of events, so you gotta teach the skill first. And actually, I'm about to make a, uh, about to release a new video that shows some of the technique that you should be looking for in the actual power turn itself. So teach the technique that you want, then let the players work through it in a progression, something like this. And then after they've gone through this and they're looking pretty good, um, you know, with and without a puck, minimal pressure on them, then start putting them in game situations where they're having to do this under pressure, where they're having to do it uh, protecting the puck from an attacker, stuff like that, where they're having to do it in game situations. So it's a sequence of events, teach the skill first, let them learn the skill, then apply it in a game situation. And uh, that should work. So um, if you want the printout of this drill or the drill draw hockey share files of this drill, make sure you visit us at weisstechhockey.com. We've got that, we've got tons of other videos there as well. And we've got a lot of stuff there that will help you to improve your coaching and improve your game.